Hi, my name is Kat Kerr, and today we're going to be using our mono prints to create abstract art. Now, abstract art does not attempt to represent any one particular reality, but it does use shapes and forms and colors and textures to tell a story. Now, I start off by using some black media fluid acrylic paint. I'm going to take a paintbrush and I'm going to paint some squiggly mark making lines directly onto my mono printing plate. There's no rhyme or reason. I'm simply trying to create some texture for my bottom layer and I'm having fun. Now, once I'm happy with the design, I go ahead and pull a print and then I add some splatters of that acrylic paint and then put this aside to dry. Now, while that first layer is drying, I'm going to go ahead and make some prints using different colors and I'm adding some texture using different foam stamps. Now I'm picking out about four or five different colors that I want to use in my piece and I'm going to take these prints and I'm going to cut them up into little pieces and I'm going to use them as the paint for my abstract art piece. Now once all the mono prints have dried, I'm going to go ahead and cut them up into little pieces and put them into piles. I also want different shapes, so I'm using different circle punches, but you can use whatever kind of punches you have. Uh, again, I'm not out to create something that represents one particular thing. I am using these colors, these swatches as my paint, and I'm looking for different shapes. So you can use or cut these any way you want. Now, I originally wasn't planning on using a focal, but I came across this beautiful heart design and I just had to use it. So my bad, but, um, but I actually really like the way it looks. And so once I have all of my little cutout pieces, I go ahead and audition them on my background. I'm also throwing in some string and some of those circle cutouts and just playing until I find a happy design. Now, once I've created a composition that I am happy with, I will temporarily hold these with a little tiny bit of glue stick. And that's just to hold them because I'm going to next go to the sewing machine and stitch all of these in place. Now, I went a little crazy. There was no rhyme or reason with my stitching. I just wanted to get it all down and have some of that stitching as part of the texture. Now the only thing I didn't stitch was the heart and here I'm adding some Marabou art spray with a brush and I really love how vibrant these uh, sprays are and so I decided to add the color and once I was happy with it I used that glue stick again, put it into place and then I finished it off by using a white sharpie around the heart to make it stand out. I also added a title and at the last minute I ended up changing that butterfly to one that was a little bit bigger because I wanted it to stand out. Now I am not one to let a good mono print go to waste and because I still had so many cut pieces left over, I decided to make some small journal pages. So here I grabbed, um, I believe these are three by four disbound journal pages and I just cut out some simple shapes, created a simple composition on these journal pages and glued them down with a glue stick. Just like with my piece before, I also added some book text and once they were fully dried, I just trimmed off the edges with a pair of scissors. Now here I'm adding some watercolor to the pages and I'm not being too careful about it. I'm just loosely coloring the page and I'm not making sure that I cover each and every piece. I'm just loosely adding the color and having fun. And once that watercolor was dry, I finished up the pages by just taking that fine tip marker and going around all of the edges to really make those designs stand out. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed watching this tutorial and remember monoprints make excellent backgrounds. 
but they also work great when you're creating abstract art or simple focals on your journal pages. Thanks for watching. Thank you.